वेलकम टू एवरीडे कुकिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ वेरी इजी एंड अ क्विक ब्रेकफास्ट रेसिपी रवा कोलकाटे दैट इज सूजी कोलकाटे एंड ऑनियन चटनी फॉर द कोलकाटे वी नीड वन कप ऑफ सेमुलिना दैट इज रवा और सूजी यू हैव टू ड्राई रोस्ट इट वंस यू गेट अ नाइस अरोमा एंड अ चेंज इन कलर यू कैन स्विच ऑफ द फ्लेम एंड अलाउ इट टू कूल डाउन सो लेट दिस कूल डाउन बाय द टाइम टेक अ पैन पोर सम ऑयल इन इट Here for the recipe, I am going to use idayam sesame oil. To this, add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of black gram, and a tablespoon of split chickpeas. That is chana dal. Sort everything well. The mustard has to pop, and the dal has to turn slightly brown. Once done, add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, few curry leaves, one or two green chilies. Next, let us add one medium-sized chopped onion. Saute the onions until it turns translucent. Next, we are going to add two tablespoons of split green gram. This is soaked in water for about an hour. Next, we have to add one big grated carrot. Saute the carrots until it gets half cooked. Once the carrots are done, you can add half a cup of scraped coconut. Give a nice sauté for about a minute or two. We have taken one cup of semolina. For one cup of semolina, you have to add two cups of water. To this, add the required amount of salt. Mix everything well and bring this to a boil. Once this starts boiling, add the roasted semolina. Now stir this continuously no lump should be formed The semolina will absorb the water quickly so you have to cook this in low to medium flame So here it has become thick and soft at this stage you can add few coriander leaves and give a nice mix Now let us switch off the flame and allow it to cool down. Once it cools down, it will become like this. You can see that this has become even more thick. Now let us take a small quantity out of this and shape it. Do the same for rest of the semolina mixture. We need to steam cook this and for steam cooking here I'm using an idli steamer you can use any kind of steamer Let us close this and cook this for 10 minutes By the time let us prepare the chutney for the chutney take a pan add 1 tablespoon of sesame oil here I'm using idayam oil to this add 2 cups of shallots and 4 garlic cloves give this a nice saute If you don't have shallots use 2 big sized onions To this let us add few curry leaves Saute them for about 2 to 3 minutes the outer layer of the shallot should get translucent. Next let us add two normal dry chilies, two kashmiri dry chilies and quarter teaspoon of asafoetida that is hing. Now give everything a nice saute for another 2 to 3 minutes. For the tangy taste add a small piece of tamarind. You can now see the change in color at this stage you can switch off the flame Allow it to cool down and transfer this into a mixy jar Don't add water for grinding it will change the taste Let us add some salt and grind this again So here the chutney is ready let us do the tempering for the tempering add 1 tablespoon of groundnut oil here i'm using idayam mantra groundnut oil to this add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds half a teaspoon of black gram and few curry leaves once everything is fried well you can add the chutney give a nice mix and switch off the flame So 
so here our chutney is ready by the time our kolkata is also ready let us transfer this to the serving plate serve this along with the prepared chutney this will be very soft and will taste so so good do give this a try hope you like the recipe we'll join you in another interesting recipe do share like and comment our videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel